Yo, know, this game does have some charm. Like, I do enjoy uh, just watching Spyro just do like the little trot. Or not trot, I guess it's hopping. But, like, I don't know. Because, like, in normal Spyro, he doesn't. Right? In normal, in like the original Spyro, he doesn't really do like a uh, little hop like this, right? I don't think he does. I think it's like alternate feet. Like that, but faster. Anyways, hello everybody and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon Reignited Trilogy. Last time we went off to uh, Dark Hollow and Town Square and then went back to Town Square and Stone Hill. This time we go to Sunny Flight. To which I, you know, as I did in the last episode, checked already for skill points. No skill points. So now I know I don't need to be looking for something. I should really check now from her now on if there's a skill point in the level. Or maybe not, you know, actually maybe I'll collect everything in the level and then figure out there's a skill point. Alright, Speedway, uh, I gotta now figure out what the heck this is actually not the order I want to go in. Special... The restart button? No. Okay. Uh, I'm already telling you now. I can tell that was wrong. <laughs> felt... Felt wrong, at least. Might not have been. But I was going in the di same direction as the trains. So what? So what is there? Did this choke? Is there a button to see things? Oh my god, that... I start diving real fast. I have no idea if hitting A makes me go faster. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And I'm pretty sure that's just like uh, Spyro 2. Or I guess Spyro 2 is like this. But I'm going to keep hitting it anyways. Because force of habit. It just feels nicer to hit the button. It makes me feel like I'm doing something to control how fast I go. Even if it's not actually doing anything. The, the sensitivity on going up and down is uh, kind of extreme for me. Or like to be. So, it's very much so throwing me off here. Also, I under I overestimated the range of flame breath there. Definitely whiffed. Very much so whiffed. Okay, so I think the goal here is definitely the gates first, for my routing. I'm sure that speedrunners probably have some weird, wacky, better route, but I'm not a speedrunner. I'm a slow, average, normal person who just goes, yeah, this leads me from one objective to another, and I get almost all of this, do the other objectives, and go to this, and then that. Like... After I do the last one of these, it'll probably lead me to, I'm gonna guess, the train again. Barrels on a train. Or train zu. And then from, yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely trains. And then from the train, I can probably also get the, whatever the last thing is. I don't even know what the fourth thing is. What is the fourth thing? Do wide turn so I can get the dudes. Where's the last one? There you are. I'm going to run out of time. These airplanes are surprisingly really difficult to hit. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, the train only counts as three seconds. Chest. Right, chest. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Saw them in the cave. This is also why I did not want to do this in the, uh... The other episode, because I knew this was going to take me a while. I suck at speedways. I can't believe I didn't hit that water. I was really... I, I became a surfboard. A surfboard that hovers just ever so slightly above the water. Twice. And also clip through the wall. Did I clip through the wall or was it just the camera? Might have just been the camera. Dang it. 
I don't I wish all the airplanes were going in the same direction. That would make this a lot easier. And if I was actually good at hitting them. Which I'm not I was holding down for so long. For record vertical directions are reverse. Down is up and up is down. Thing. That just reminded me of all hell shadow. Okay, wow, you carry that falling momentum real well, Spyro. <laughs> What's with that? Is it because I'm hitting a button? Is that why it keeps like. I guess so. I guess it's two different little animations. The first one's where he would probably go. I guess he probably goes off the screen and then comes back on screen. That's why he keeps teleporting there. Makes sense. If that is the case. Man, they did not give you much time to get through all of this. Very tight window. And it definitely doesn't help when you miss three planes in a row. And hitting them would probably help more. Honestly. Also, now I'm thinking about it, why have I not been, like, trying to like, cut corners? I am very sad on how... How, uh, slow I go back up sometimes. That, that one I wasn't holding full down, though. I was holding down to the right. Mostly right, actually. I... I do feel like I fall faster than I go up. Also makes sense though, because when I can angle myself up. Uh, why am I not hitting A to go up faster? That's that would probably help. Probably prevent stuff like that, now that I think about it. I was about to say though, like it probably makes sense because when I start going up, it's not like he really flaps his wings or anything, he just tilts. He's just airplane mode right now. Just without propellers. How do airplanes? Yeah, I guess this is how airplanes go up, isn't it? This way. So I saw this guy. I figured I can hit him. I was right. Thank goodness I was right. Dang it. Whatever, he's going the opposite direction and I can hit him. Easy enough. Now we do big turn. Get these three. In a row. No, I will not. I will come back. I want to see what, where the trains and the chests leave me. I don't know. Oh wow, the, the trains are actually pretty far apart, aren't they? Oh jeez. Yeah, they're about three seconds apart for each of them. So the train do not gain me time. I am stuck, help me please. So here's the gates. So it did lead me back to the airplanes. So the trains do lead you almost back around. I wish I'd kinda added the time sooner. I, f I feel like the way that, or like how long it takes before it adds the time, it just like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like there's going to be a moment where I hit something, like an objective, to get the time, and why am I going... No, bad me. Stop that. Stop that right now. Okay, trains. I want to hit the trains. I want to know where I might hit. I want. I want to see if I can figure out where the heck the chests are. Or if they're all in that just one cave. If they're all that just one one cave, then that's not too terrible. As long as I learn how to fly better, then it'll be good. Everything will be fine, and I could probably end with airplanes. Maybe. I need to also figure out where that cave is for chess. 
Okay, well, there's a tunnel there. I'm just doing blandy stuff now. Okay. Well, this doesn't look like it leads me to planes. Or anything like that. Oh, hi, don't block the walls. Okay, that time was good bonking the wall. Helped. And that one. Crud. Okay, so the chests lead you into the middle of nowhere. Got it. Chests are last. Because then you can go around the circle there and then hit the chest and go out the thing. Alright. I think I got a plan. It's the same plan I was originally doing in the first place. Hooray! Is it... Right? Not a terrible plan, because you get these. These seem like the most annoying thing to get, because if you end off at the plane area, and then you still have these, it's like, it's kind of go backwards and then fly for a bunch of empty space, and that's going to waste way too much time for how little time they give you in this. And I... God, I need to learn the range of this flame. Feel bad. Ah, dang it. Corner, I probably shouldn't have cut the corner that much, because now it's going to be more annoying to hit the better guy. Maybe it's not going to be too bad. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yikes. It was fine, though. Okay, okay. Now I need to get trains. Train, train, trains. Show up, trains, please. Okay, I got five seconds to get the chest after trains. Great. Maybe I can fly into the chest area? No, get the trains first. Ooh, wait. Ooh. Charge it, okay. I'm in the... Where, where's the entrance? There it is. No, I was hitting A! I actually only hit A once. But I thought that one A press was going to give me enough time to tilt back upwards. That was nice. That worked out, though. If I didn't screw up the playing part, like I have been every time, that would have actually worked perfectly. This has been 12 minutes of me failing and mumbling about what the heck to do. So, don't worry, there will be more content near the, the end of... Maybe not? Eh, I'll see. Whatever the heck is after this, depending on how long it takes, uh, it will be in this episode. As in, if it takes like four minutes, then no. Alright, then yeah, it's gonna be here. It takes like 10 minutes, then it'll be in the. the as its own thing. Oh my god, that was close. Ah, shoot. It's fine, everything is okay. A okay. There is no thing to worry about here. Until now. How many seconds do I got? Oh, that's perfect. Easy. Plenty of time. Plenty of time to get to the chest. And maybe this time not crash into the platform that the chests are on. Give me the heck out of this cave. Okay. I have time to fly in a big ol' loop. Come on! Dang it, I'm mad. Oh, it pauses! But I'm still bad. I hate trying. I I need to figure out how to. Uh, every second, precious. Oh God. Maybe not those seconds. Those seconds weren't precious. Those are the ones in Spyro's face. I I guess I need to figure out how to loop back around to the cave while going under the bridge, so that way I can be at the height I need to be to hit the chest and not have to, like, try to mash my way out of flying downwards. Can't 
can't wait for more speedways because there's probably more. I would assume there's probably the same way as Fire 2 works, as one speedway per world. Oh man, these airplanes are not lining up as well as the last ones. Not quite, at least. Still not the worst, but not the best. You know. Okay, oh, I did not hit them with flame breath, but I did hit them with my face. Whatever works, I guess. Face, fire, anything goes. As long as it blows up that dang flame. You know, for Spyro the Dragon, murderer of planes. This is our sky. We rule the sky. And also the train tracks. We are also the train. Choo choo. What's up, bud? It. No way I can screw up enough now, right? What? I have so much time. I've done this already once with no time. Easy. Easy win. Boom. Got it. Thank god it's telling me that there's not a skill point in here. No. <laughs> I'm I'm done. I'm gone. See ya. Bye. Wow, this is like almost 20 minutes of this level. Hopefully I do better in this other speedways. Now that I've accustomed myself to flying a bit more. You know, now I can fly a bit more gracefully. And I now actually don't understand the limits of the flying that much better. But I do understand at least a bit better. You know. So maybe that maybe, maybe that's good enough. Uh I guess. We see how long this takes. I'm pretty sure this doesn't take that long. So if I need to, I'll edit it. If I don't, then congratulations, me. You spent 16 or 18 minutes basically. 17 and a half. Uh. Getting people to click off the video, and then you go to the actual more, like part that they would probably want to watch you do, which is you know, go hang out with Toasty. Oh hi! I uh, did not realize what the heck you were, and that actually just spooked the heck out of me. So for some reason, I like I, I thought they were uh, sheep, so. Oh, you cannot charge them. Dogs are too big. Anyways, yeah, no, I thought they were sheep, and I tried to, uh, just leave after flame breathing them once. A mistake I shall not make again, unless I have a break in between playing this game for, like, years, and then I, like, for some reason just go, yeah, I want to play that game again. It's possible. That kind of stuff is happening. It just happens. What? What you taunting me for? You missed. I was standing still and you whiffed. You can't taunt me about anything. See, this guy can taunt. He hit me. I think. Or it was the dog. I don't even know how I didn't hit the dog, actually. What was in these pictures? Wait a second. What? Oh, the... Up and down is not reverse. That's Autumn Plains. I know that place. I don't know that place. Is that the- No, wait, that's where I just broke this chest, wasn't it? The speedway. That's the hedge maze. That's where the higher building guy is. This is where I die. <laughs> Never mind, fine. Dragon, I don't know the name of. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a statue? Oh, I, actually, I think that's an actual dragon. Oh, that's a turn too. Not 
sure what that is. But are there my pictures over here though? No, okay, cool. Why is Autumn Plains just randomly here? Though. <laughs> like, out of all these pictures, I think they're all like Spyro Run related. I'm pretty maybe. One of them might be a Spyro 3 thing, and then there's just Autumn Plains. It's like, okay. Hi, I thought I heard somebody. I hit you twice. Don't you lie to me and then use me as a bed. I'll scratch you. I'll be the worst bed in the world. Trust me, I can do it. I have I have a bed that had springs poking out. I gotta cut out my elbow from one of the springs. I know how to be a terrible bed. I get the bed's pretty fun. It's just, you know, I'm an idiot. And I accidentally slid my, uh like arm against the spring when just trying to move my arm so you know that was a mistake do not do that by the way if you have if you know that there are springs loose in your bed and poking up to where they can poke you and scratch you or like cut your elbow or whatnot uh do try to avoid slide sliding your arm against the bed I didn't even try to slide my arm, by the way. I didn't just go, I'm just gonna slide my arm today on this bed for no reason. Nah, I, I was just trying to uh, move my arm. But I moved it too low, you know, I, fly, I flew too low to the ground. Just kinda like how I kept flying too close to the water. And down there? No. Say that kind of game. We're just gonna hide secrets in random pits. Like I played a little bit of Origami 2, uh, like in the previous week, and it, they do some of that. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Is this just called artisan because like half of you are artists? Also, is it is it a trick that they have a dog? Because honestly, that's like the most threatening thing besides water right now. And I guess it's death fish, but death fish usually end up being water in the end. And not some random jagged rock. I mean, it might be jagged rocks in the water, but generally just water. So, wasn't that such a like such a difficult uh, boss fight? Okay, yeah, get attacked by the meat. Wasn't 100% confident because they never took a swing. Yeah, see that that was a. Five minute level? That is the reason why I decided to do this with the speedway. And now we wait. Ooh, a thousand exactly. That's a nice number than in the first like set of levels. Very nice. Sweet. Alright, I guess real quick we can see if they say anything. She'll say I'm not ready. Cool flash. Do that again. Oh hi sheep. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. Oh yeah, look at that. They they say something different. Or listen. You can look or listen. I have subtitles and audio. Anyways, that does it for uh, this episode of Spyro the Dragon. And the Create Night Trilogy version of it. Uh, next time we head off to this way. Go talk to the hot air boat. Not this way. <laughs> That's where I just came from. Head off this way. I like burning the grass. It's neat looking. To uh, talk to the hot air balloon person. See you all then.
Bye bye. Act yeah, bye bye. <laughs>